Everybody, shot, 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 shot. What it do, nerds, geeks, and weebs? I'm Arden, and I'm Jamie, and we're back with some more Dog and Rumpa Two. Whoop. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages <clears throat> that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win, they are all worthless trash. Well, I don't like you more and more, <laughs> Nagito. The, the more we play this game, I'm already just like, man, could somebody just nab his ass already? Please. Good God, what a negative ass Nancy. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth and everybody else. They did kind of like a mouth animation with this right, one. Right, I was about to say, like, his uh, mouth is moving. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm about to ask. He's trying to talk around his own bullshit. Right? No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. My foot is about to is not that accommodating. breed up your ass. That just sounds talking like talking eugenics already. Like, I, right, the fuck is this guy? I don't, he's just weird. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. Don't tell my Daisy that. <laughs> no matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Um, You're looking at this all wrong, my dude. They can swim like a motherfucker, I though. Mean, yeah, and also, apparently he's never seen um, Pebble and the Penguin. Oh, uh, yeah? I've not seen Pebble and the <gasps> Penguin. Is that? Did you say Tim Curry was in that? Yes! That's like, you're like, you're Pebble and the Penguin, motherfucking Tim Curry! Yeah, no, we'll have to watch that. No, we yeah. do, because yeah. he's fantastic in that. Yeah. I mean, he's in fantastic in everything, but... Well, yeah, but like... Right. I love it when he voices, like, the villain. Mm-hmm. Or, like... He Something hams creepy. it the fuck up and he always does, gets so and into it. It's beautiful. It. It, it is good shit. Like. Which means unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. Are you trying to pull some thick out of your ass like, like everybody's faded to be a certain way? But Shut up. He keeps People with talent it. don't mm. become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. False. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. You got some mad misplaced hero worship, my dude. Uh, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. I don't know, you're doing a whole lot of self-serving here, bud. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. Mm -hmm. Even the animators got tired of his bullshit. They're like, <laughs> we're tired of him. We're just going to do this. <laughs> this basic ass animation because we don't want to even look at him anymore. So I want you guys to believe me when I say I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I feel like I mentioned this in a in a previous episode, but like where where the antagonist of the last game was very twisted in their ideals. This is like, and obviously like their ideals are very evil. His is like, if you've taken a completely positive ideal and have just twisted it. Yeah. Because like, I, and I think I said this before too. Like the 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 road to hell. They say the road to hell is paid with good intentions. Yeah. It is. He is taking something so pure and it's just like darkened the shit out of it like in, yeah. in the in his in his belief of it i want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead yeah it's like the like the the shitty aspects of hope Gross. or taking hope and yeah. twisting it yep i'm really lucky someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy so please let me help you if you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits... Oh, shut up! <laughs> I was hoping someone would deck right. his ass. I hope somebody 
blitzes him from behind and you never know what happens. <laughs> I'm going to deck him in the schnoz. <laughs> I'm going to kick. I'm, 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 I'm pushing. Push I'm pushing. <laughs> Yeah. Chapter two, baby. Sea and punishment, sin and coconuts. Sin and coconuts. That's that gonna sounds be dirty. Right? <laughs> if I ever put out a music album, it's just gonna be called Sin and Coconuts. Sin and coconuts. <laughs> Byaku Yen Teru Teru died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed toward the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. Yep, still gotta eat. Still got a shit, <laughs> you know. Still got a shit. Still got a shit. Oh. Ah, Hajime, you're already here. Good morning. Uh. Hey, yo. Good morning. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Byakuya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed, and the person who killed him was our friend. But that image, I can't take that seriously. <laughs> I know it's a horrific death, but he looks like the what? Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Like, oh my god, that's what it is! <laughs> what the little bandana he Jesus. looks like! Oh my god. I was thinking more of a crispy Pillsbury doughboy, dough but... Yeah, well, fuck. <laughs> except it's more like... Except it's more like... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and that friend was also killed right in front of us. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. I mean, <laughs> I guess some people don't feel so sad. She's got better things to do. <laughs> That's like, what happened? Miyakiya and Teru got killed. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. <laughs> Why are you always so mean to me? But Still, I understand about Mr. Hamhands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Hey, hey. What the heck do you mean? He misses his mama. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it all right to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. That was not my intention, but... Hey! Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. God damn. In fact... I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him, too. <sighs> hmm. Jeez. Hey, what gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but... It smells... Something smells, don't you think? Huh? Again? It can't be... Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. <laughs> Somebody better not have died in here. <laughs> better not have died in here. <laughs> not another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> another. <laughs> Could you imagine if I played that every time somebody died? Oh, another shit. one. <laughs> get I'm, sued for rights. Don't get me. Don't get me wrong. I'm fucking tempted to do that. Mm, what you say? <laughs> don't spit all over my laptop, please. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. This time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> it just smells really bad. It smells bad. Um. It's kind of like how a bar or a nightclub smells after closing time, you see? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Or a party life. Or party life, yeah. Kiss my ass, bud. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotting garbage. Ugh. I got it! <laughs> I know what it is. Nekamaro's breath probably stinks. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there! 
Oh, my precious little himbo. Oh, my God. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Buddy rolls with it. He doesn't give a shit. Right? He's like, I got a, I got a huge cock. What can I say? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to be sad about. For real, though. <laughs> no, it's not Nekamaru. This smell is coming from you, Hiyoko. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. It's true! Hyoko, you reek! What did you do to me? Ugh, a rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. <laughs> <laughs> Your poor stinky little baby. <laughs> I love her still. Oh my my! Oh, she's crying! Hey! I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive! That was close. Uh, no, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I, I mean, as long as I breathe in with my mouth. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Now she talked all that shit about fucking people dying. Now she's over here smelling well, up the place. Well, she's only little, god dang it. <laughs> like, are you even taking baths? <laughs> no. You haven't bathed? I, I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, Hiyoko, don't, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? <laughs> really? <laughs> I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. I love you, Mahiro. I'll give you a kiss. Hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you can I said Mahiro escape. instead of Mahiro. <laughs> Mahiro. You're, you're good. <laughs> she appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> ah! This girl. <laughs> you raced on the line, didn't you? Yep. You fucking... yep. Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. <laughs> Isn't that also the name of a Bon Jovi album? Probably. Probably. <laughs> The air's suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. And I guess I have these guys to thank. Um, um, anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and Nagito? It seems they are both not here. Uh, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just free Hiko being free Hiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed, a child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... <laughs> just, just letting you know, I don't know anything! That's a little sus. What do you know, baby? <laughs> He's over there sweating to death. I have no idea! Oh, without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all! That's right! He, he's right! Forget him! Let's just forget about that creep already! Also sus. <laughs> <laughs> They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not! I'm not suspicious! Impossible! <laughs> That's right! I'm not suspicious! What's the matter? <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't, Don't be, be suspicious. <laughs> What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? Uh, you came at just the right time. <laughs> hmm? At the right time? <laughs> no, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. <laughs> <Egg>. <laughs> Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I, I can't help myself, you know. M my body reacts to Monokuma on its own. Put it away. <laughs> Something like that. Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually... To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? What the hell? You know, my mono beasts. One of them just disappeared. Uh huh. One of the mono beasts disappeared. Hmm. Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. <laughs> Topical. 
Let me tell you this. But that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Nature, the collective will of the world. He'd just be saying shit. <laughs> Though this is merely the prelude, the climax will occur soon after. Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Uh, now then, let me hear your scream! I shall make such sweet music for you! That's a movie quote, I feel like. Uh, isn't that know, like, oh, isn't that, hold on, isn't I don't that, know. um, 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 fucking, um, Hellraiser, that's something like a Hellraiser quote. Oh, you know. Or similar to a Hellraiser quote. I just rewatched the first two. Yeah. That does ring a bell. He's like, um, I'll, I'll play, we'll play such sweet songs for you here or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, you know, more like agonizing, something like that. We have such sights to show you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire <laughs> existence. I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh, well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. And it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cat bot once said, our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. I think it's a, a Doraemon, um... Reference Japanese thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat robot. <clears throat> okay. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again, he disappeared. No way. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Mm. The only possibility I can think of is... Um, were you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come back later. <laughs> <laughs> then leave. Yeah. At least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ta-da! Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. It's a little hard to believe, I'll be honest. <laughs> you did? You serious? Defeating a monster like that. How the hell did someone like you pull that off? Don't disrespect the bun. <laughs> I'll talk about that in more detail in a different mode. <laughs> anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. Oh, I wonder if one goes down every time we have a trial. Kind of looking like yep, it. Yep, mm. makes sense. Well, because in the first game, every time we had a trial, um, another floor of the school unlocked. So yeah. I guess that's how they're doing it here. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Wait for him to be done grunting. Is that true? Ahem, that's totally right. Now that you all can go to more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. For sure. <laughs> this show, time. For show. <laughs> for show. This, this time. <laughs> L living on this island isn't what's important. We, we need to find a way to escape. Jeez. Of course. Escaping from this island's our main goal. That does remind me, though, with Hiyoko, like, being a stinky butt. Uh, Toko had the same issue in the first game. Oh, that's Remember, right. Remember, she just didn't bathe for the yeah. longest fucking time? Although, this girl has a little bit that more of an excuse. That depression will get you. <laughs> right? <laughs> huh? Why, you? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood-type action film. Well, some people do. I, I kind of do, especially the swashbuckling Right? Part. The Pirates of the Caribbean, where everyone's just hot. The hygiene is bad, but everyone's hot, so it's okay. Everyone's hot. <laughs> I want to live a life where I can be more average. A, a life where nothing happens. That's better for me. All right. If you find anything that can be salvaged for boat parts, let me know immediately. Um, it, it seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from what I had planned. Now then, let us begin. <laughs> then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right. Let's find a way to leave this island. <laughs> that is impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Are you trying to fucking say it was somehow before and you just didn't tell us? Hey, what is that? Uh, she just, hey, hey, she just runs away. fucked off, right? Like, and I, ooh, and she gone. <laughs> hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. 
After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. You're right. Seems everyone's attention has shifted toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape this situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. Let's get it. I see lobster. You see lobster? You do see lobster. Rock lobster. I want some lobster. <laughs> that does sound really good. What you got for us, girl? Hmm. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues, too. You can't. You promised you'd tie my kimono sash. Hey. That was... We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but but if I don't hurry and go take a bath... <laughs> they'll call me smelly again. They're gonna bully me again. Oh, you mean that thing that you do to everyone else? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Now let's take a light shower first. Oh my god! Right? They're, I'm sorry, they're leaning hard into the <laughs> bit. Like, I feel like no. they're leaning a little too hard into it. Japan. I, <laughs> I know, I know, it's not an excuse. But th these are, they're all supposed to be a similar age, even though she looks like that. She, is she Didn't they say that she was younger than the rest of them? I, I don't remember. I know that I know that she has, she has a fan base like it is because she has a younger appearance. I don't know if she's necessarily actually younger than them, though. I got you. Well, she so, looks much younger. She, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yay, we're going to wash each other. Huh? Uh, wash each other? Hey. Oh, hold on. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in, too. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But let's go. <laughs> this is giving me the ick. <laughs> Uh, Hiyoko pulled Mahiru's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed toward the cottages. Wash each other? Shut up, Hachime! God bless it. Uh, I see. Washing each other, huh? Put it up. Put it away. We're going to the other island then, I guess. Let's go. You. Yep. I feel like when he's running, yeah. it should be more like... Scooby dooby doo. Can, Where right? are you? I think we mentioned that before. Yep. He's, he's got the shaggy run, yeah. Scooby Dooby Doo, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> I, I can't even finish oh the fucking God. words. We got some killing to do now. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, I see you. You're my fucking partner in crime now. <laughs> was it? No, no, there's another one, right? Right. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was that one. Uh, you know we got some teenagers to kill some Scooby Dooby. Ready with your axe. Don't hold back! Fuck them kids. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Scooby Doo, if you pull through, you know you're having yourself a Scooby snack! Human flesh! <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. Oh my god. Where's the, I think we were supposed to go to that island. A few moments later. Number two! Hey! She's right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monomi was right after all. What lies beyond the bridge? All right, guess I should find out. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> oh, hey. So this is the new island. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Mm, yes, it's the ambiance is completely <laughs> different. You fucking nerd. All right. <laughs> well, now's not the time for me to make carefree observations. Then why are you <laughs> right? Buddy lost himself for a second. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. Let's do it, buddy. <clears throat> okay. Those are pretty. Going uh, to the left, to the left, to the <laughs> left. I'll level up! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you poop? Is that chocolate or poop? That's right. That's definitely poop. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, Gundam. It's nearly showtime! <laughs> You're too late. The seal has already been broken. Seal? Is he talking about the bridge? Uh, whatever. It's not like I really care. He's talking about seal singing Kiss from a Rose. <laughs> can you imagine? He, he can be a sensitive boy if he wants. He can. He can. I do love that song. Diner! Hey! Someone's in the kitchen with diner. Diner. Anytime... 
a diner has like a picture of a pig like that on it, I yeah. don't want to eat there because like I understand that I'm eating pig, <laughs> but I don't want to visualize. I don't want to visualize it while I'm eating the pig. Right, I, w- not- I wouldn't go to McDonald's if their fucking mascot was a cow. Right, like that's I don't know. It's it is weird. No, I, I get that. And especially because it's like a cute pig. It's not right. even how pigs really look. Right? He's over there. He's over there, just like, ooh, eat me. Like, <laughs> like I, I'd, I'd rather not. Thank you. You, you made it doity. Yeah, made it. You made it doity. <laughs> the signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. That'd be a good plan, my guy. Yup. Diner. Oh, cool. I like the jukebox. Huh? That looks like. Oh, it's you. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. <laughs> Sweetie Hiko suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on. Why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? Probably because he used his eyes. Right. I mean, you're not wrong. Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? God damn. Shut the hell up! I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating! <laughs> Jeez. Huh. An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person? Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. <laughs> Scooby Dooby. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, about that annoying person. It's got nothing to do with you. Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together, bud. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? I'm not avoiding you bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Ooh, look at me. I'm a loner with no friends. He's a little Draco. He's a little Draco. Not to rely on anyone? <laughs> Ooh. Mm. That includes the Kuzuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't misunderstand. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head to the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it out on my own without relying on my clan. Huh. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, damn. Oh, do you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway. I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it? Hm. Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Biakia and Teruteru, are proof of that. <laughs> Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's t- my time to kill. Ooh. <laughs> You're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> You're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. Snowflake. (laughs) (laughs) What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Right, he's just a little like, I'm a little loner. He wants to be ignored. I'm going to push everybody away because I have fucking intimacy issues. Mm -hmm. Chandler Beach. That's... Oh no! Somebody just screamed, but that the, the hold that hold that thought. Somebody's in trouble. I screamed while they screamed. Yeah, a scream. That voice just now was that Ibuki? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. If they kill my girl, I'm gonna fucking murder someone myself. That scream came from behind the building. What happened? No, 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 no. Hey, hey. Okay, she's alive. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Hey, Buki, are you all right? What happened? Emergency! The, this is bad. I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words. <laughs> What's going on? 
The, the killing, the killing started again. Huh? Pointing. Look over there. <laughs> so I glanced over to the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger. Oh shit. Well. All right. Hey. I'm picturing some fucking JoJo shit where they're like, you haven't seen it, but there's a very famous like, ooh, no, 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 like fucking like punching oh scene. God. Yeah. Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. Are they fucking training? They're just sparring, yeah. Yeah. What the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? That's quite absurd! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Right in the gut. Huh? Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? We're done for! He he's done it. Nekumaro Nidai's ultimate move, super body blow. <laughs> That's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. <laughs> Sheesh. Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? Ha, this isn't a fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. That's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. All right, Hajime, you're being a fucking nerd again, bro. Wow. Training. What violence? This is not a real fight. We're training. But it looked like a real fight. Huh? Ha, I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. I don't know, man. Like, you look like you're pretty into it. Get your finger out of your nose. We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. Even so... Why the sudden interest in training? Because people are trying to kill you, bro. Oh, that's a good point. If I gotta admit it. What the? She's alive! Fool. She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. He, he looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but... Ugh, I lost. And probably threw up everything you fucking ate this morning. For real, though. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Aww. What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. <laughs> I see. Akane, it seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing. It's all half-assed. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Paying attention. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second rate if you just rely on instinct. You. Damn it. Shut up. Then. If you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I'll fight you once again. Don't forget. Huh. You better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I'll show you my serious side. I won't give up till I beat ya. With wobbling steps, Kane left the beach. However... If she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl. She's probably gonna get even stronger. Wasn't expecting her to voice the whole line, but I'm... Right. Yeah, you're probably right. What kind of conversation is this? It's an a it's a fucking shown in anime uh, conversation, bud. For real though. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> the more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? Oh hey, look at one of the little fucking doohickeys. Hey, 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 that one's different. That one is different. I'm wondering too if they're not different per chapter. Oh maybe. You know I what I mean? Think about that. Yeah. Huh? Oh, that one was different, different. Hey. Serious? All right, beach house. <coughs> house full of beaches. <laughs> hey, Mr. Soda. Is that a peacock chair? Is that a peacock chair? I love I didn't... peacock chair. I don't think it is. I don't, okay, I don't know. Like, what, what mm. constitutes as a peacock chair? Like, the ones that um, Morticia Adams sits in. 
Oh, like the big... spread out like a fucking peacock. I'm an idiot. <sighs> I love those chairs. <laughs> I want sense. one so bad. <laughs> Just to feel like fucking queen bitch. The yes, they <laughs> are whatever. very expensive though because they're all handmade. Mm -hmm. So they're like, they're an arm and a leg, but they're gorgeous. Damn. <clears throat> I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. <laughs> Soda. Celebrity Yo. Beach House should be a reality show. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised it's not by this <laughs> point. It probably is. <laughs> hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something. Shower's out of order, but the ambience is nice. And the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. Everybody's talking about the ambiance. <laughs> this motherfucker, word of the day. What Word of the fucking episode, <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> don't shatter my dreams like that. That's right. More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Uh. Awesome, totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. Is he, He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Miss Sonia! <sighs> I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't! <laughs> little, all right, little cock block rabbit over here. Whoa! It's here! Hey! Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Your love I affair? Give you. <laughs> Delusional much? <laughs> Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. So you mean changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. Huh? Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never going to give her up. Never going to give her up. up. Never going to let her, her down. down. Never, never going to run around and desert her. her. <laughs> you might let her down, though. <laughs> we did Damn. the song. He's not going to do that, Hajime. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? <laughs> anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also... Playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. <laughs> All work and no play makes Jackie a dull boy. What studies? <laughs> right? Fuck studies. You guys! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them. No questions asked. Yeah. They're here. <laughs> He's here. Y you, what are you holding? <laughs> a machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be show. Rule breakers, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I didn't know I had a speech impediment until I started doing fucking <laughs> dong and rompa. Fucking. Huh. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. Hey, hey, hey! It's common sense. Where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. Yeah. Control yourself. <laughs> Hold it in. Hold it in. Oh my God. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules. Wow. As you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Or you will literally be shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, well, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's a trash can, but I don't have anything I need to throw away. Cool. I bet nothing's going to be of any importance. A lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. But most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? <laughs> That's your concern is the dye? The dye might be He's bad He's like, for your the aspartame! <laughs> <in> the <f> <laughs> hey, that's some real shit, No, though. I mean, for real. Woo! When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Oh, hey. We're not done talking to him, apparently. Uh, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, su uh, sus response. <laughs> I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? 
We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying. So let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. He ended the conversation very forcibly, just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. No. <laughs> uh, looks like this is the closet. Um, inside is R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. Surfboards are under the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so it really doesn't matter to me. I have no balance. <laughs> <laughs> This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Oh, I guess we're just going out the fucking door then. Oh yeah, back before somebody started screaming, the, the fact that this is Chandler Beach is kind of fucked up. Poor Chandler. Poor Chandler. God bless it. Yeah. You know him and Hank Azario were besties. Were they really? Yeah. Hmm. That Like, they were... Hank Azario, that was one of the first people he met yeah. when he came to Hollywood was Matthew Perry. No kidding. Yeah, and they were like... And he helped... Get him sober. Matthew Perry helped Hank Azari get him sober. Yeah. And wow. it's like, man, I don't know. But you heard that there were no, like, drugs. Yeah, yeah. It just, he just, I, I heard he drowned. I just don't know what. Cardiac arrest. <sighs> you know, that happened to my cousin. <laughs> wasn't sober a whole, well, I think it was just a little over a year mm -hmm. um, when he had a heart attack. And the doctor was like, he just abused his body with drugs for so long. He's like, it his just, heart finally gave out. That fucking sucks, After man. he got super sober and was, like, super getting his life together. Mm -hmm. And I, like, I feel like that's what happened to Matthew Perry. Like, yeah, he was just on his way. And then it just... Just went too hard in the, po in the pool and... Just gave out on him. That sucks, man. But I mean, fuck, like, despite all that, he was still trying to better, better himself. Yeah, like, he... And I, I saw that thing, too, where he's like, he's like, I know everybody's going to remember me for friends. He's like, I get that. And that's fine. But honestly, I would write people to remember me for, like trying to help other people get their shit together. Cause he was like, he was he trying was to help people best. get sober. He, yeah. yeah. He struggled with addiction for mm -hmm. a long time. And so like the fact that he, and he tried to get sober several times before. So the fact that he was like mm -hmm. finally doing it and not only that, but really helping other people like, yeah. It, Cause he was like, he's like, it may not work hundred percent for me, but I'm still going to try to help other people do the yeah. thing. Like, like what a sweetheart. He was, He's always been a sweetheart, and he's so funny. Have you ever seen that movie with him and Selma Hayek, Fool's Rush In? I've not. I've heard you talk, like, oh, good things about it, though. That, that's one of my favorites. It mm -hmm. really is, because he's so good in that, because he's still funny, mm -hmm. but, like, he's... And not that Chandler wasn't well-rounded, but it's something besides Chandler, where yeah. he can be funny and still be, like, a whole character. So yeah. it was just really cool. Uh, we'll have to watch that at some point. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Plus, I fucks with Salma Hayek in any capacity. So, yeah. No. <laughs> There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Do not use the water closet. <laughs> uh, I don't think anything else is important here. There's a seat. Uh, maybe the bench. Yeah. yeah. The bench. There's a fancy looking bench. It looks like something you see at a resort. Not a peacock well, chair. Well, oakly dokly. Well, yeah. I, I thought this over here was a peacock chair. But... Oh, fair. Oh, right, because the back. Yeah, right? but I don't think it's high enough to be the peacock chair. <laughs> uh Oh, oh, that's okay. We did come out of a tunnel. Yeah. That's like a Looney Tunes ask fucking mountain vagina Weird. is what that is. <laughs> a mountain vagina. <laughs> I was about to come up with a really stupid name for it, but I couldn't Stop think of anything that sounded fucking... That Mount Tussie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, it looks like regular from over here, but it looked very suggestive from the other side. Because the, fir the first thing that popped into my head no. was Pussy Precipice. Like... <laughs> what? Because the precipice. Right? We're on, we're on, we're the, on the precipice. We're on the Pussy Precipice. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think we got everything here. If not, we'll fucking, we'll go back. All right. Oh, it looks like a bunch of... Drugs! Pharmacy! Pharmacy! The CVS are going to print me off a 50-mile receipt. Mm. Wait, man. Oh, I figured old mucking nurse girl would hey. be here. Hey! Oh, I bet she's happy. Mm -hmm. She's like, drugs! Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, squee! <laughs> Do I, really I was, have to I was say waiting. Squee? I was like, is she gonna squee or am I just gonna squee? go ahead? <laughs> squee! I'm not squeeing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> What's with you? Um, uh, I'm sorry. 
I got so excited, I started shouting. Squeeing all over the place. <laughs> I was so happy that someone talked to me. Oh my goodness, girl. Before, people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. At least you shower, unlike the other bitch. Uh -uh. <laughs> More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. Well, um, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Anything else girly? <laughs> Would you like a shot already? Shot? <laughs> Everybody! Shot, 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 shot. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm fine. I, I have enough energy. And she's just chasing you on the way out. Shot, 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 shot. shot, shot, shot. <laughs> Oh my god. Was there anything else? I think that was it. No, yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Could you imagine if every time somebody wanted to go to get their vaccine, that's everybody in the whole place. Shot, shot, <laughs> shot. <laughs> god damn. I'm surprised they didn't roll that out during COVID, like a good. remix of the fucking song. The library. The library. We have some fucking book nerds in here. It's me. It's you. <gasps> the Jamie. It's beautiful. Hey, wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Probably. It's probably a library. It's probably a library. I don't know, Hajime, you wow. fucking take a game. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey. I'm over here being sarcastic with the camera and fucking finding shit. Uh -huh. I've been found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Mono coins. Heko. I see. This is a huge library. But there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume that this island is also uninhabited. Deserted. <laughs> Deserted! Deserted! There's nobody here! That's not what I meant to click on! Hmm, what language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. I see. Oh. I see. Hmm, such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? My girl! <laughs> the newest issue of a cult magazine. It breaks the lid off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. That's quite a surprise. You are wrong. It's not like I read it often. I'm just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. She's one of them. <laughs> Bitch, don't make me regret liking you. I... That's not a good excuse at all. Man. She's going to be, no, no, think about it. Like she starts her own podcast with a couple other people and does like a whole murders in the, in the building thing. See, that would be fine. I'd fucking watch the shit out of that. That would be fine. But if she starts talking about how attractive serial killers are, I'm out. Yeah, right. <laughs> It seems this writer has very good taste. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Like the little tie back to the first game. Very nice. Hmm, that Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Most hmm. tight. Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. Wow. Apparently, she is a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? See? Ah, uh, this one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you, just in case. Sparkle and Justice is a serial killer who calls themselves the Ally of Justice. Also, also... Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkle and Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonya, calm down. Amazing! Thanks to the mask Sparkle and Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. 
After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert. Yes. <laughs> hey. hey, you two. I've been listening in for a while now, but why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. It's all been Sonia. Have you not? You said you listened in. Don't fucking lump me in with her, dog. Please wait. Please hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Kind of like refers back to Byakuya being like, you can't look at things through like only your right. fucking eyes. You gotta, or your value. You can't judge other people's choices on your own values. Mm -hmm. no. Serial killers, their value system is very different than the norm. What a marvelous existence. I am a totes intrigued. <laughs> Hearing that in a southern accent cracks me up. It's so fucking it cracked me up. I That's am, why I had to stop. I am totes intrigued. I am totes intrigued. <laughs> is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Don't do it. No, it's, it, it is the modern day fucking like, mm -hmm. like, like bitches and cold cases thing. <laughs> Man. Regardless, clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. Like, there's a difference between being obsessed with them and being in love with them. Two yeah. Very different things. The bronze statue of Monami, I mean, you saw me before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. It's getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. Aww. I went to burp, but I almost... Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, it was almost liquid, so... <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. That's gonna be bad for everybody. <laughs> this is a bronze statue of Monokuma! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, could you not die? Oh my god, right? What happened? Mm, it looks so arrogant. What lame taste. <laughs> I expected him to pop up and be like, what do you mean? Right. Did I, I need to talk okay. to her again or something, maybe? Surprise! Mm. I guess so. I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? Yes. <laughs> concerned. That is very true. And just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ding, 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 ding. Ta-da! Mommy Me is here. I'm writing a book. <laughs> Since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um. Uh, I see. Uh. <laughs> it's clear from your face I'm a nuisance Since I was more energetic than usual I feel even emptier now <laughs> And what about your explanation? Got it? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking, you need a place where you can do homework Ta-da! So, I have prepared this library! <laughs> um. Prepared? You? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. Hey! I am a teacher! <laughs> you, you're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? That's a real identity. Now that's silly. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. That's my M.O. <laughs> I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. I According see. to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means? These are all probably things that they donated. Uh, hold on. Did you just say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? We'll fucking slide it on over. What language is this? I have no clue. Looks like fucking English, Looks but... Looks like fucking English, my guy. <laughs> then... Then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. Holy shit. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? My girl. <laughs> Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean, known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. That is, 
Exactly what Biakia told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. Huh? It is strange, no? Th that is strange. I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island. There is no sign of any buildings at all. The only things there were Monokuma Rock in the park. Hmm. Um, uh, also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building, which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the Mono Beasts? But that statue is in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait. That is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Which makes the bridges really weird. Right. Huh? While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island, like Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah? Artificial island? Well? Palm Jumeirah is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. It cannot be. That, that especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old, too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. Well, <clears throat> My, my! You're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? <laughs> hey, hey! However, those guys are the only ones who can do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? Hmm. The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Hmm. It's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Quit showing your ass. <laughs> right? Uh, who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Canceled. Uh, hey, hold on a second. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial. There is no way that is true. Uh, there's no way. That guidebook, it's probably just old. You are right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Hajime. Oh. Hey, girl. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well? Um, I'm letting everyone else know, too. But can you come to the ancient ruins on the island right away? You can, right? Right away, okay? Hurry up. Hmm, based on her pushy tone, <clears throat> she might have found some kind of clue. And I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Hello. Yep, everybody's gathered here for something. Oh. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. 